Uh, Rich has had a number of people call asking about Delrin, putting Delrin in their car uh, versus urethane. And <clears throat> I've got I've got some information I'd like to share because Delrin seems to be a great big catch word. Everybody, everybody hears about Delrin, they have to have Delrin. Well, let's take a look at it. I mean, there's 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 three different bushings that we use, bushing material that we use in, in our cars. I do use Delrin in some applications. Uh, I use a lot of urethane and we use rod ends. Now the this is this is the urethane that we use. And it, here it's, I mean, it's stiff, but we we switched over the the black uh, urethane a number of years ago because the black is silicon impregnated, which uh, makes them last longer and work better. Uh, but it's just listen to it. It's it's kind of like it's kind of dull. It's got some give to it, and you listen to Delrin. It's really really hard. Delrin is a, a polymer. Uh, I can't tell you the, uh, the chemistry on it, but the whole purpose of it is it is uh, a low wear uh, and, it, and it's has some lubricating values. So it's, it's used a lot in a lot of different things. I only use Delrin in, on suspension bushings like control arm bushing. I only use Delrin on race cars. And that's because we take a lot of time to make sure that if, because this is so hard, we have to make uh, sure everything is totally precise. Like front and rear is 100% in line, and the, the, the bushing and the control arm are, are uh, a really close, perfect fit. Because what happens, there's no give in these things. Uh, if they're off, if it's just off a little bit, I mean, you probably wouldn't notice putting it together, but that'll put a load on it. And we just had somebody call uh, Rich, I think last week or so, that that had bought some control arms that had Delrin bushings in, and you know he hit a big chuck hole and just shattered, just shattered a Delrin. Uh, I mean, Delrin only works if it's if it's 100% perfect alignment and everything's square. Like when we do when we when we do the Delrin bushings on the control arms of the race cars, the, the way I know it, it's ready is if I can lift the control arm up, it just kind of falls down at a, at a gentle rate. You lift it up. It just falls like that, and I know I got the got it perfect. Uh, so this is these are what we use in the suspensions. This is actually for the IRS uh, lower control arms. Uh, we use the uh, 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 urethane, and this is also the rear the front. The front rear bushing is uh, as well. Uh, here's the thing: urethane is only good for things that go up and down. Okay. Things that move up and down is perfect for urethane. Urethane is not good for rear uh, control arms. Uh, and the reason for that is, I mean, everybody, you know, this, immediately they, urethane is a buzzword. They put urethane uh, control arms on. Well, if you're going a straight line, if it's a drag car and you're using urethane, it's perfect. It works absolutely perfect, straight. However, if you need to turn and go around a corner, what happens is in lower control arms, this the urethane's not not going to flex very much. It can be a little bit of flex in it, but hardly any. So what happens is the it'll only flex so far. At that point, it goes into a bind. And when it's a bind, you run a suspension. The back of the car gets loose. Uh, I've had a number of people over the years call and say, you know, they just can't control the back of the car. I find out they got you know they put urethane bushings in, and it just doesn't work that way. I'll go back even further, way back when. Uh, 87 with the Celine cars. I mean, we won uh, all four all four national championships in SCCA Pro Endurance Racing. Okay, the cars were, you know, I mean, they won. They just dominated. Uh, and that, that, well, I, I uh, told Steve I'd, I'd win a, a championship. I tried to win a championship within three years. Actually, I won a four championships in two years. So, you know, my job was done. And, you know, we kind of split ways. Well, the cars went up to Detroit. And uh, somebody up there had the great idea. That I didn't know what I was doing. They tore the cars completely apart. <clears throat> okay, these are cars that just won four national championships. Tore them apart and started over, and they put uh, urethane bushings in the back. Well, the first day of testing, uh, Rick Titus told me that you couldn't drive the cars. The back of the car was so loose, you just couldn't drive them. So urethane is not what is used at the back. What we use at the back are rod ends. 
Now, I use, now we've dropped down to you know, every, everybody that has lower control as the rod ends in the aftermarket uses three quarter. Uh, I use, I dropped down to five eighths, but when I did, this is the, uh, this is a, this is a, the JMX uh, in, in the FK line. And it's like the super premium three piece Teflon line, uh, you know, super high grade uh, uh, rod ends. And the reason these rod ends, like, these are all zipped together. I actually have them, you know, there's like different tightnesses you can get. I also have them built uh, extra tight uh, because I'm going to lose something sooner or later. But with a rod end, I mean, you get full articulation. I mean, the rod ends move. You got front and back rod ends. The whole thing can kind of roll around. You know, the axle can roll. The body can roll. And it, everything works together. Uh, we do use Delron in one suspension piece. And that's that's on our new rear suspension. It's just a part of it. And you can see the two Delron bushings. However, this is a super precise fitting and this is a piece that kind of this moves up and down like that but the uh i mean the there's there, i mean it's just absolutely super precise in the fitting all the way through uh even in the even in the the aluminum you probably can't see it even in the aluminum uh arm we have like uh, lubricating bronze bushings so I mean everything is super precise, and that's that's our application for here how hard that is Delrin. So I mean Delrin is, you know, I don't have never really recommended or suggested Delrin for streetcars. I think you can get into more problems than than good. The other thing is there's absolutely no give in Delrin, which means that you 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 shorten up your you close up your window uh, mistake window. You know anytime you start doing too many things and your mistake window starts shrinking uh, you have the opportunity to make mistakes so that's uh that's kind of like urethane we use urethane a lot uh, but the only things that move up and down we use rod ends for anything that has to articulate and of course we use delrun in uh, absolute precise when everything is precise that's where we use the delrun